I was really fortunate to grow up around a lot of great role models and mentors when I was very young that, that helped shape me uh, in a lot of different ways. And I think it's really important for um, athletes to be exposed to people that expand their identity beyond just being an athlete. I think the thing that I've learned about uh, modeling values or leadership to young people is it's also about the ways in which we carry ourselves as coaches and the ways in which we show up and how are we approaching the games, how are we approaching the practices. And The best coach I ever played for was uh, definitely my father, Coach Tierney. The reason he's been so successful in the game of lacrosse and won seven national championships is that he knows how to bring a team together. He knows how to keep individuals from just being individuals on a team and just not allowing the, the, the big stars just to take all the energy. You know, he does things like everybody on his teams has to wear the same color socks, you know, in, in practice, in game, same color shoes. Everybody, you know, looks the same in practice. Everybody wears suits on the bus and the trips. And so there's this culture that is built that there, there's a discipline amongst the team that the, the team comes first. The other thing that I think he taught me really well through sports is that the last guy in the team and every part of the team for that matter, whether it's the equipment manager or trainer or the person, you know, maybe at the end of the bench or the manager, they're all integral parts to the team's success. And so I think from an early age, I learned from him that, that, that it was about, about the team and not, not about the individual. The other things I, I learned from him were just about prep, preparation and the, the discipline that goes into preparing for the other team. And I hear a lot of great leaders. There's a, a great book called Make Your Bed by Gen, or Admiral McRaven um, from the Navy. And he talks about how uh, he tells young people if they want uh, to change the world, they should start by getting up every morning and making their bed. And I, I think in large part I learned that at an early age um, because if you can't do the little things well, how are you going to do the big things well as a team? So uh, if you ever see my father at a practice or at a game afterwards, you'll see him kind of picking up small pieces of trash off the field or uh, getting balls off the end line. And it's those little things uh, that he modeled as a coach that I think his players pick up on and have allowed them, uh, his teams to be successful and his players to be successful in a lot of ways.